Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is a special one. It is a birthday special video. And why is it a special? Gabby is 12 today, you guys. And we are not celebrating her birthday today. We're not even having cake because we are doing it on Saturday. She's having this special surprise birthday on Saturday. She's looking at all the edits that we woke up to this morning. No, I'm looking at your photos. Oh, what do you think of the photos oh, I did? Look. And then, and then the storm just like. I know. I'm that's a unicorn. that's when you first got him, and he was like learning storm. to jump. I'm a unicorn. Basically, I woke up this morning and said, "Oh no, I have to have a video. I have to have put something up for Gabby's birthday." And then I went on Instagram. I went on Facebook. Got a bunch of pictures. Posted them to Instagram and then I saw that you guys made like beautiful edits of like videos and pictures and I'm like I suck as a mother. Who was the first person to say happy birthday Look to you? Face. I know she is such a cutie. Who was the first person to say happy birthday to Stacey. you today? Stacy, your sister in law. Who was the she second? She doesn't even have my number, but now she does. Who was the second person to say happy birthday to you? Mark. Mark, your brother. Who was the third person to say happy birthday to you? Sophia. <laughs> Who is the fourth person to say happy birthday okay, to you? On Instagram. <laughs> and when did I say bir happy birthday? You're number five. <laughs> yeah, the fans got her Every back. Time I'm online. But her mom, time. no, her mom was the fifth person to say happy birthday. But what, did your dad say happy birthday yet? No. <laughs> At least I beat someone. Okay. So Sam is down feeding the horses. We're gonna go and join him in a few minutes. Well, actually, we're gonna go down and do stalls in just a few minutes. Um, but before we do, I wanted to show you Sophie's new shirt. It is so super cute. It says horse girl and then in navy, and then it's got a horse in gold. Come closer there. It's adorable. I love it, and it matches her new leggings that she got for Easter. So cool, this design will be available in our merch soon. We're just waiting for Sam to come back up because in our family, our tradition is to... What? Um, what do we do on birthdays? First thing. Open presents. We open presents, but this year, Dad's taking care of the horses. But we're going... I don't have to muck out a stall today. Yeah, you have to muck out a stall. That's the thing, you're not getting... Horses never stop on your birthday, Christmas morning, before we even open presents. We're mucking stalls. I know, but we can see them. We feel like high presents, we have to go down and <laughs> muck our horses' stalls. Um, if you guys watched yesterday's video, then you will know Gabby promised to do something today when she t finally turned 12 that she's never done before. And what was it, Gabby? I have no idea. Brush your hair. Promised to brush her hair, and oh, she yeah. actually did brush her hair this morning. Yes, I did, but it's curly and a mess. But I did brush it, but it stays like this. I know. I'm going to braid it for your riding lessons today, right? Yes, after presents. This present's oh, from God, Sophie. Oh, I'm scared. Sophie <laughs> just... Is a prank? No, <laughs> don't be scared. Just open it. Sophie just gave her this present. It had nothing to do with us. She did it all herself. Yes. Oh, wow. 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 Like when your sister gives you her hard earned money. Yay! Oh. Yes! Amazing. Is Sophie is such a selfless person. Like, my kids have a hard time giving up their money. That's incredible, Sophie. Not Thank me. you. Yeah, I know. You're like me. I'm like, give it all away. Give it all away. <laughs> this from some mom, from mom. Hold it up and there. I, can't, I know. Oh, what is it with, like... Okay, so this is what it looks like. And she thinks it's a saddle pad. Like, how dumb is that? No, no, because the Lemmy saddle pad has, like, this, and then it goes down and up, and then that's the part. And then right here, here's the straps. That okay, listen. How many of you guys think that that's a saddle pad? Everybody. All right, go ahead. Everybody But first, Ruby walked on this, and what is it with Grace always being dirty? Yeah, that's true. There's, like, all these horses and Ruby walks on a gray one and the gray is dirty and then she oh, then she walks on white okay okay I saw a dirty cloud there too I knew it <laughs> so Gabby actually asked for this color because she actually has a base layer yeah not a Lemieux base layer but another one and she wanted this color to match it it kind of matches so now you have four different sets of to ride in matching shirts and base layers and saddle pads Blue, yeah. orange, dark blue, wait, dark blue, 
sorbet plum and green and green, <laughs> green now so i'm riding in green there today was. all right so this one's from from dad and me and sophie okay. i didn't tell sophie what it was i didn't want her to know and it's a box what do you think it is let's show the let's show the box let's see turn it around there I have no idea. I see a horse on it. Yeah, because it's something close to you. This is the brand. Oh, this is, um, I recognize that name. That's Villegro. I thought what? that's his rider. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't know. I, I know who it is now that you mentioned it. I'm like, wow. Wow. Ah. <gasps> Yay. Do you like it? Yeah. They are the stirrups that I wanted. And they're safety stirrups, so they're Fiona approved. Yeah. Nice. Do you like the color? Yes. So that'll match your, the and stripe. Too. That'll match the stripe on your saddle pat on your saddle. Yes. Yeah, they're so nice. These are these metal stirrups and they're safety stirrups. She has to have safety stirrups, but she wanted these ones. Yes. They're gorgeous, right? Yeah. Hi, Finn. <laughs> I love to walk in and see a horse looking at me. Hi, friend. Hello, your boy. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of this. Hi, Stella. Look, you guys, remember how long we worked at getting the horses to come to us? Like, we did not even work at this. And we don't just stand here and give them treats. Hi, Willo. I'm glad to see you moving in. Oh, you're such a good girl, Stella. But uh, clearly they think that they're getting treats because they all came. Let's get to work. I have to clean your stable. You pooed everywhere. They're like, who cares? Sam is going to get hay. It's like the never ending thing. Our trainer is coming today because we have lessons and I'm ready to hop on Stella. So I have a Western saddle now. My saddle pad's not in yet, um, but I'm still learning bareback. That's what I want to do, I want to start from the ground and work my way up and be confident. But I already feel so confident today. Like, I'm ready to jump on. Stella, I'm riding you today. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? She's like, what? You and me, sister. But first I gotta clean. It'd be embarrassing if somebody came to our barn and it was messy. My goal for the summer is to get a really good bond with Finn and Willow so that they won't, so that they love me and when they see me coming, they run to me. They all ran to me to, this morning. Well, they need food, so. No. They want uh, treats, so. I know. Gabby changed into her other base layer. It's a looser fitting one. That's why it's not her favorite. It's still super cute. No. You already got dirt on your pants. No, these were never ever washed. Oh. I only wear this. I only wear these if I have these pants because the other pants are horrible for tucking my shirt in. Okay, all right, let's see what you got going on. Yeah. Oh, do you want to hear it go higher? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Did you groom her? Pick her feet. Careful of the rocks, they might hurt her. I'm never gonna go over and rest. Hey, sweet girl. Did you bring her any treats? Yeah. Oh, good. Don't give them to her a lot. So anyway, Sophie brought Willow up from the barn just to play with her at the house, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, she's eating our grass. She's on our lawn. <laughs> she's like, woohoo! Grass! So uh, today is going to be all about bonding, you guys. I'm bonding with Willow. Finn's a little too big to come with you. Yeah, that's why we love minis. <laughs> Don't let her eat the grass. Like, we finally have grass. Take her over there and let her eat that grass. Take her down there and play with her. No, I don't want her to play. Yeah, well, I don't want her eating our, our well, we lawn. Go over there. Yeah, go over there. She's going to walk on picnic. Good girl. Like, so cool. Good. 
You have to take her down there. She's a grass eater. Like you'd think she'd be a little bit nervous and stuff being away from her herd, but she's not. She's like grass, I'm good. Can we go over there? Yeah. Yeah, take her right over there. That's a good spot. Oh, she's happy. Like, like we can take Willow up here and let the kids, let Brooklyn and Jacob ride her. Like that, um, she can't have grass for too long though, just a few minutes, because she hasn't had it yet this year. And like, she can well, do potty she has it every year. Yeah, I know, but she hasn't, she has to eat it slowly, so just a little bit. But yeah, isn't it crazy though? Like you have a pony in your yard. Is that crazy? We have a pony in our yard. I literally never ever thought we'd have a pony. Like, that's just crazy. So it's like super warm out. It's about 11 degrees, 12 degrees, but sunny and sun makes all the difference. So today I'm working on our yard, trying to get some stuff set up for the chickens. And then I wanna maybe ride Stella. So I'm dressed in my riding outfit but my riding lesson got switched to tomorrow so that's okay around walking up this hill she was like about to go get yeah her. like let's just take a minute here and recognize how not stressed out our girl is like she's just happy to have love she was happy yeah like this is incredible I, to, I told her she's, that when it's summer like even more hot she we will bring them out here every single day to let them have some grass. Yeah, and we're gonna get all this fur off of her so she's nice and yeah, cool. Yeah, Yeah. Aww. So like somebody's just having so much fun. It's almost like you're a horse girl. I feel like the relationship between a horse and a, uh, its owner develops naturally sometimes. And like, we all love Willow, but I feel like Willow really responded to Sophie a lot right from the very first. And that bond's never changed. She lets me catch her. Yeah, she only let Sophie catch her. Isn't that crazy? You guys, there's two massive hawks. Like, holy cow. Oh, they're circling. They better not be eating our anything. Leave all our animals alone. So yeah, our chickens are, we're gonna have to make sure they're super secure. Shoo, shoo, go. Shoo, get away from our yard. Shoo. These are our first predators. One thing I've really learned with horses is that more important than anything else is the bond because once you have a bond, you can do anything with your horse. Like when you get a horse, it's shocking. Like I always thought we'd get a horse and bring it home and hop on and yeah, it's not like that. Like they literally are like, who are you and what are you doing with me? Like they have to be, have a bond before they can do anything with you. So today is all about building a bond. If you guys remember when Gabby first got Storm and they were kind of have struggling, one of the big things that she did was every day she would take them and do something just for him, just for him. So today we're taking our horses and do something just for them. We're gonna walk around our property and let them have a small a bit of grass, like even stuff. Uh, grass has some really good stuff in it like some stuff that you need for your they need for their body for their joints for their their everything it also has a lot of sugar so obviously that's not good but we are gonna give them just give her just a tiny a tiny tiny bit like two minutes maybe um, and just let her be a horse I'm doing willow mom's gonna walk them around first just to see his reaction Was like I know what to do and Finn is terrified this is why we need to build a bond with Finn Finn eat 
You just put your head down right beside your mare. That's its grass. Good boy. Stella, don't get excited because you're leaving in one minute. Finn's gonna call Hank now. Eating so fast. You're okay, Finn. This this guy is so unsettled. Like that's why we need to bond with him. And I know some of it will just be time. It's incredible how much grass Stella can eat in three minutes. She looks good, Gabby. What did she jump about? Stella's our best horse. He might be. He's a pain, isn't he? So he has like energy and does not know that much stuff. Yeah, he does not have very good manner. He tries to trample you. He's an eight-year-old, so he's a little quick and like he has tons of. There we go. Well, if you want That's better. Had a break for me. You didn't. Okay, we got to take Stella in before she eats too much grass. Stella. No more grass. Stella, Stella, no, no, no. You're cut off. <laughs> You're like an addict. <laughs> She's like, let me have it. All right, let's take them in. Can I grab a helmet? Yeah, right. go ahead. We have the same. You're gonna walk in one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we took Willow away this morning and he was freaking out. Stella didn't care. Stella's our least herd bound. I think she's used to going from home to home. Which is why you will never go from home to home. Anymore. Anymore. Well, except for if we move. Yeah, like we have work to do with our horses and we know it and that's okay. So she's riding bareback outside, first time. Stella had some you can the grass, so I'm just, all right. Do you really feel like it? Yeah. All right. You just have to walk beside me. All right. And she'll be fine. Good girl. Come on. I'm coming. What do you think I'm gonna do, catch ya? No, if you walk beside Stella, she'll be like, ah, okay. Good, good girl, she wants that grass so badly. Good girl. Here, clip her up and so you can. All right, so Sophie's gonna take Stella for a run. This is what I always dreamed, us playing with our horses in our yard. So I was like, Wait, I did let's not go like... over there. I'm mean, just doing circles. The weird thing with Stella, I give her one flake of hay less and she loses too much weight. I give her one flake more and she gains too much weight. Oh, look at our pretty girl. Like you guys, she is our saving grace. She is amazing. She's incredible. Like I'm in love with this horse. Like look at how amazing she is. Don't let her eat. Girl. Yeah, should we put her away now that she did good? Here, sure. Okay, let's end on a good note. We got a package today, and I read what was in it, and it says Attention Laura, and I got
got super excited. I'm gonna tell you why. Gabby is opening it, of nice. course. So we opened this, got this package. I opened this package. <laughs> this package. <laughs> I love it. So this package was inside this package, and now there's another package. Is there another package? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, let's look at it. So it says to Laura from Lori, G G G, give God glory. Amen. Oh, can I open it? It's a horse. Oh my gosh. It's called Unbridled Faith. A hundred them. And it's a devotional book. From, from the horse farm. And what Lori had no way of knowing is that. I crave devotional books. Like I, I have read every single one that I've ever had. I've read them a few times and now I'm out. I do not have a devotional book and I love them. Ooh, this, this one is, is after the first story. This is incredible. And then. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. This Anyway, the one trick pony. This is incredible. This is like such Look a at, soul present. Skittish. All right, so Lori, I want to thank you so much for Look, this amazing, like for this amazing, beautiful book Packing that I would love to, bag. that I would love to look at. That is a gorgeous horse. I know. But Gabby is really in love with it. <laughs> so this is the book, Unbridled Faith, 100 Devotions from the Horse Farm. And it says on the back, explore the timeless wisdom of God's word through one of his most beautiful creatures through one of his most beautiful creations. How beautiful. Like, I just want to touch this. I love books as much as I love horses. Absolutely beautiful. So heart, heartfelt. Thank you so much for this book. It's amazing. Like, I, like, it just amazes me that somebody would send this to me. Thank you so, so, so much. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.